Packing up the good old kayak. <laughs> I'm headed into a new spot, running and gunning. Tonight, I think my best shot is the Donald. I think he's hanging out in these, there's these two oak islands that I'm gonna be hunting. I'm just gonna circle around with the kayak and then I'm gonna creep in with a westerly wind. I think I know where they're bedding right off the end of the, the island there, so we'll see what happens, I guess. I just walked like 20 yards. It's ridiculous. It's really wet in here. I thought it was gonna be drier. Can't turn back now. I came from back behind me here through this crap. And I just got to the edge. There's an opening. I don't wanna walk through this opening just in case they're looking at it. I'm gonna circle around there's some more brush over here that I can walk down to, but I'm suspecting them to be bedded right in here somewhere. There's a bunch of oak trees right here. So if I was a big buck and I was bedded right there, I'd come walking right here and start eating munch on acorns right before dark. So I'm gonna get right in, I'm gonna get right in here. Got a wind going this way. I'm gonna get right in here somewhere. Hopefully, if the sign's there, set up and smash one and hopefully it's the Donald. life to bow hunting. If you want something, you have to work for it. There is no easy way out. You can complain and make excuses and fail. Or fall in love with the process. Thank you. 
and never give up until you get what you want. Fluffies, the wind checking. Here we go, baby. It's October 7th. Headed in after Jerry. Jerry, Donald, Abrams. I went and grabbed my stuff back at the truck. I'm headed to the kayak. My bow, my backpack with uh, my lone wolf and my gear in it. My camera gear is another backpack full of cameras. What I'm doing is just running and gunning with this wind. We got a perfect wind. The last seven sits. Last seven sits. I've not seen a deer. The low tomorrow morning is supposed to be 38, which is primo. We haven't had anything under 40 all year. Tomorrow's the youth hunt, so I gotta wear orange, so I wanna try to get this done with. I've been running and gunning, jumping from bedding area to bedding area, trying to find where these deer are. Hanging cameras every, every week. Busting. Can't catch a break. Got a trail camera stolen. I ended up leaving a bag with two trail cameras in it, along with a sweatshirt and some other thing in a parking lot, I'm pretty sure. And that's gone. Really having a rough time. But the last thing I'm gonna do is give up. Public land hunting. You never know what happens. Be hunting spots that other people hunt the day before. You don't ever know. You just gotta hope for the best. Do your scouting game plans and try to execute. Uh, you know what? I'll go another sit without seeing anything. I'm prepared for it. Do I want to? No. Expect the worst, hope for the best. If I had enough good spots to sit, if I put in the time scouting, if I know what I'm doing, I should be on deer all the time. That's my goal. Just gotta keep grinding. Shit definitely ain't, ain't fun. When it all comes together, it's probably the best feeling in the world. But before that, Deer at man. I mean, there's deer in here. It's just where's the big buck sign? I got a couple points that jut out. Looks really thick. Lots of oak trees. I have some mega trails coming by me. One in about 10 yards. I got really thick points out in front of me. I suspect they're bedding on. There's oak trees at the rope. I'm set up perfectly. That's what I like.
phone. So hopefully that doesn't ruin my night. I still got a lot of time. checked cameras yesterday on this scrape and I ended up getting pictures of the Donald. It's the first time I've seen him since August. Now I'm hunting over the scrape this morning. I'm about 30 yards away from it. I'm only about two sticks high, not very high at all. I got attacked by a tree squirrel. When I was climbing the tree, jumped on my head and it was like, scared the crap out of me. It's it's extraordinarily warm this morning. It's supposed to get colder down into the 30s, so I really hope I didn't bugger him when I got in here this morning. That could have been him that skirted me. The thing is with Bubble Glen, you want to sit there and wait for the perfect conditions, but at the same time, you gotta hunt that buck then and now, otherwise someone else is gonna move in and do it. I've had, the, had it happen to me before, I'm not gonna sit here and wait till prime time to hunt scrapes not gonna happen there's no way i would have hunted this morning if this was private property it's just too warm but it rained last night i figured maybe he'd come in and scrape it is october 20th and i'm feeling lucky it's getting good cold front moved in and the bucks are on their feet so, headed in to go kill a big old Donald at 2.30, so I just got done working. Got my stuff here, ready to rock. It's, it's go time, baby. Donald vanished, and soon enough, I was headed to the hills. I had an encounter with a buck I called Snaggly, but couldn't seal the deal. The next morning brought me to Longbeam Ridge. Well, he's got up in the tree here. I think it was 25 degrees of the low this morning. I got up late. It's pretty light out, but this is a better uh, <clears throat> midday location. I've sat this tree quite a bit. Major bedding area right in front of me here. It's gonna warm up and the thermals are just gonna skyrocket up this ridge top. I got trails right next to me at 20 yards. So I'm hoping that they're gonna be up on these trails next to me. I got some chasing going down over here. <clears throat> oh, I got something coming up over here.
just passed an old tea bagger. Decent <coughs> little two year old. It's 11.30 now. I just had a nubby buck come right underneath the stand here. Exactly what I wanted him to do, but just need something with some horns, man. Waiting on my mega buck. sticks high my lone wolf. This is thick in here. There's water everywhere. Mud, muck, branches everywhere. Maybe this light rain will get them moving. If I was a big buck and it was gun hunting, I would lay on my ass and not move all nine days. But it takes 30 seconds to put down the big old Jerry Booner buck. Gotta have confidence. I know they're in the area. It's just a matter of being patient, waiting them out. Been on art all year, man. All year long. Having a rough season. Scaler came home for a week. Not much going on there. We had a lot of action, just couldn't seal the deal. The week after, my dad shot one. Four hours in. He was right there. <laughs> yes. A two year old in the hills. One gone on damn my uncles. They, they put down two big bucks last weekend, so. Oh my god, dude. I'm going hard till then. It's gonna be a fun day. I got some turkey and some ham from yesterday's Thanksgiving in the bag. Should be good there. Wait her out, baby. Hopefully, I can't fling an arrow today. It's late December here, about a week before Christmas. Headed out to go do some late season bow hunting. It's cold, it's been cold, it's been negative at night. It's gonna be a high of negative three tomorrow, or a high of three. These deer are up on their feet and they're moving around. I haven't had very much luck on public property late season. They're definitely stacked in certain areas not easy to find them, but once you do find them, you can get in some pretty good hunting. I've never been late season bow hunting back where I'm going right now. Years past scouting, the deer have been stacked. I'm hoping they're gonna be stacked up when I get there. I got the old trusty ground blind with me. It's cold. My hands are already frozen. It's not supposed to be down into the single digits till dark, so it'll be good.
Just got set up in the ground blind here. It's cold. I fell in the creek. My feet are soaked. And I forgot a chair. <laughs> I forget everything. So I'm just sitting here on my knees, freezing my balls off. One set of fresh tracks on the way in, but a lot of the trails could be covered up with snow. I'm hoping something comes through. I don't, I don't really even care what it is. I just want to see a deer, I guess. We all know things in the woods are a little different after gun season. It's depressing, actually. The deer have been on the hard all season. They're on high alert and cover is scarce. of my body wanted to give up. But there was something in my heart telling me to keep going. If you win, there's some pony trails coming from the uh, public going onto this private field. Got to set up and hunt. We got a pretty awful wind. I'm gonna walk down this creek here. This is gonna be the easiest, quietest walking in. It looks like it's frozen enough. It looks can be deceiving, but I guess I'm just gonna have to wing it here. I'm gonna try to sneak down this creek, hopefully cross a trail that they're crossing on the ice here, and set up shop. Ground. 25 yard shot. I just put a buck down. I shot him and I don't know if I spined him or what the deal was. I hit a run and put another arrow in him and then put another one in. I gotta let me calm down here. I circled back around to where they're coming out to eat here. I thought I'd be closer to the bedding, I guess not. 
didn't even put, put up the blind or nothing. I had the first one walk in, and it was a little four-pointer. I think it was another buck, but it shed. All of a sudden, I see this thing. He comes out. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. The little one comes, he's staring at me. He's behind a tree. Then the other one looks down, he's eating, so I pull back. I pull back, he's looking at me. I could just get a shoulder shot, and he stepped out. Just took one more step forward, and I drilled him. <laughs> Freaking shaking, man. <laughs> I was this close, just thrown in the towel. I don't know if I'm, I think I'm cold, but I'm shaking too. Let's go look at this thing. He busted one of his antlers up when I shot him. Look at where I'm sitting. Behind this brush pile. First shot, I must have spined him. I hate to see him suffer like that. I had, I ran up quick, put another one in him. And, and the other side. Oh man. There he is. Unbelievable. You have no idea what this buck means to me. Here's the other side. Unreal. I can't even believe this happened to me. I honestly don't even know. My season's been up and up and down, up and down, down mainly. I wish I didn't put a shot on him that I did. It's bull hunting, man. I am so grateful. I can't be thankful enough to kill this buck. I had my wide angle lens. I was gonna bring my other my other lens. I either lost it or I, I didn't or forgot it. First buck off the ground I've ever shot. First buck late season I've ever shot. First buck off the ground late season and without a blind. But the way everything panned out, the way it happened was just unbelievable. It was unbelievable. It is not the size of the rack. I'm telling you, it was, this was just one of the most incredible experiences of my life. I'm never for, gonna forget this. Mm.